Okay, so there you are, minding your own business. You're on a multi-pitch rock climb somewhere, and uh, you drop your stitch plate or your ATC, and um, you know there there's lots of different ways to belay. Uh, you know you can you can uh, use a muncher hitch if you got, if you're on a single rope. Um, you can uh, use a body belay, which nobody uses anymore. Um, but then you find yourself, okay, I got to get down now. You got multi multiple repels to do, and you just dropped your stitch plate, or you dropped your figure eight descender, or you dropped your gri gri. Um, and uh, how are you going to get down? So here today we're going to show you the uh, carabiner brake repel, which is a throwback to the 70s and 80s before uh, some of this stuff was invented. And uh, basically it's... Uh, uh, you can do it with five carabiners. Um, so five carabiners, you got one locker. You're going to start with uh, one locker on your harness, you know, like this, okay? And then if you've got rigid spine carabiners, uh, all, those are going to be better than uh, the wire gates uh, for this. Um, so you're going to start with two, like this, with the gates. So, you're gonna, uh, gonna reverse the gates. Okay, so there's one, first one, second one, so they got the gates reversed. And uh, that's the starting point. Then you're gonna, you're gonna poke the rope through, and, uh, and then you're gonna get two other carabiners, and you're gonna, gonna clip them in like this. Across the gate and, and uh, make sure they close. And then the idea here is do the you know, reverse the gates, keep the hard spine where you want it. Uh, and uh, there we have uh, a makeshift carabiner brake repel um, out of five rigid rigid gate carabiners so you got one locker now if you didn't have this locker you could use two more carabiners here and uh, basically this is uh, how you would repel so you're, you know you lock it off and uh, and uh, yeah, so where you go that's basically the carabiner brake repel so we'll show you that one more time here. Uh, so third, you know, and then to dismantle, to come off, to come off the uh, carabiner brake is, uh, you know, you, you uh, it takes a bit of, you know, getting used to the beaners and probably worth doing before you actually have to, to uh, actually kind of get dialed in with which, what beaners work the best, but to get those two out and then you're off. So to show you again from scratch, we're uh, starting, okay, let's, let's just show you here with no, no locking carabiners here. We'll go uh, totally uh, old school here. So in this case, you can use a couple of the wire gates, uh, you, know, wire, you know, wire gate beaners. So we're gonna clip those in. We're going to reverse the gates, one here, so we're going to do that. So now we got reversed gates on that, then we got the next two, and uh, gate opens here, so we want to make sure that this gate is on the other side. And then just as a backup, you know, this is also considered gates reversed. See how they open differently there, uh, if you can see that. You know, those will be like that, but flip it around, you know, clip it in. So those gates are reversed. Then you're going to get the wrap rope. You're going to plug the wrap rope through and uh, like that. And then we're going to get our other beaners and we're going to use two again and uh, clip that in. And uh, 
guess I've done this you know a few times and uh, don't drop the deaners if we were somewhere where it mattered that deaner would be gone um, now I'm gonna come back uh, the other way through just to show you here and get that in you know if you have the old ovals you know that did, that was easier with the bigger ovals but this does this does work so there you go with with uh, no locking beaners I'm just going to take that in and lock it off and kind of just show you what it looks like so there we're locked and now I'm repelling so there you go that's the repelling action so two lockers here gates reversed or, sorry two non lockers with gates reversed here uh, two more here with the gates reversed and then hard, you know, the back spine goes through here, as you can see, back spine's here, but I've got the gates opposite on this side. So just to show you that. The one thing that uh, I, I had to do, I was using one of these uh, for six or seven repels on a route here recently, a couple of years ago. And the thing that you gotta watch out for as you're repelling these ropes can actually cross so as you're feeding it through these ropes can cross on the modern uh, day ATCs they don't cross so if they can cross then you can cause yourself grief for when you're trying to pull the rope but that is an old school way to create a friction device for doing repels um, on a crag if you're you know two three ten pitches up and you drop your your ATC uh, you drop your figure eight descender, you can make, make an old school carabiner brake repel. And uh, uh, they are reliable, they do work, and there's no specialized equipment required. Just one more way to respect the risk. Thank you very much for joining us on this episode of the Respect the Risk Rock Climbing Mentor Series. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.